Hello everybody, welcome back to another Adobe Photoshop tutorial. In this one, we're in Photoshop Beta. We're using gen Generative Fill, and look at this. I've gone ahead and taken out the original girl here from the meme, and then I replaced her with another girl. So how do you remove objects and remove people from images realistically? It's very easy to do with Generative Fill. Let's start from scratch, and I'm gonna show you step by step. So here is the original image with nothing done to it. Okay, the first step is I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to grab this rectangular marquee tool and I'm just going to draw a box around what I want to remove. So I'm going to just go ahead and do that. And that's a pretty good, actually I did pretty good there. Um, so there you go. I've drawn a box around her and it's got a little bit of his arm in it that I might not like. But not to worry, what I'm going to do next is I'm going to go over here to the quick selection tool and then I'm just going to make it nice and small. So I've got to gone ahead and made it about, uh, let's make it six pixels as you can see up here. And I'm going to delete this little bit of the arm. So I'm just going to go hold, ahead and hold down the alt key. And this is just basically me deleting the part that I don't want to be cut out. So there you go. I'm going to just leave that in there. So we've got her and her only and we've taken out his arm. So Let's take a quick look at what we got here. She selected as well as some area around her, which is fine. Now, the next step is we're just gonna click on this generative fill. If you don't see that, make sure that you've got one of the selection tools selected and you will see this here. Click on generative fill and then click on generate. You can type something in there if you want to replace it with something, but I don't. I just want to remove her and I wanna see what happens as is but just do keep in mind that you can type in if you wanted a pink unicorn on a unicycle you can do that so look at that she is gone and behind her there's nothing there and it looks incredibly realistic don't believe me look at that there gone amazing but you can do more so let's go ahead and do a little more so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to go ahead and draw a rectangle here let's say something like that and maybe i want another girl to be there instead so instead of the girl we had i want someone else there so i'm going to again using the rectangle tool here the rectangle marquee tool we've made a rectangle now i've got the generative fill option i'm going to click on it and then i'm just going to type in um something like attractive female, whatever, just click on whatever. I mean, it doesn't really matter. And then I'm gonna click generate. Now, just so you guys know, these are using, this is using Adobe's servers. This is not being calculated on your hard drive or on your computer. So keep that in mind, this is using that. And look at that, we've got um, Britney Spears with a bit of a drug problem, but okay, hey, <laughs> you know, it's tough times. So, okay, that one's not for me perhaps, but I can just click on this arrow. Let's see what we get here. Okay, we've got a girl, but uh, she's kind of blurry. Maybe that's the look you're going for, I don't know. Or we've got this one here, another nice looking lady, but uh, blurred out. So again, you guys can just keep on clicking generate or you can change what you're looking for and you'll get different options. And that is literally it. So we removed a person, removed objects, added in our own objects, all done in Photoshop using generative fill. Oh, look at that. Let's try this one. No, nah, that's not so good. Hey, that's pretty good. Ah, uh, no. So we're going to stick with that one. So there you go, guys. That's all there is to it. Thanks for watching.